Glar and Lydia and Rivia. Uh, glory to Lyria and Rivia. All right, you lost me now. I have no idea. Oh, hey, they gave me something. All right. I think Rana Maeve or whatever they said is like Queen Maeve. I can get I can get that much at least. All right. Mixed feelings like always. That's just the standard emotional state of playing this game, I think. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's a werewolf. I saw it in its most confusing angle at first. Werewolves have not shown up much in general. I think I might have forgotten to get the job board in the other... Oh, wait, no, that wasn't a job board. That was the propaganda board in the other, other town. Right. Oh. Shit. Beast War. Mass Grave. The Lyrian army approached Lidhem. The village the village sergeant Nidor called The village sergeant Nidamir called home. He was eager to hold his family in loving embrace, recount his adventures, introduce his wife to the queen. Yet the chimneys spewed no smoke, but no light flickered through the closed shutters, and a bit further beyond the village, a deep, dark pit. What did it hold, you ask? Huh. You clearly aren't familiar with war. A standard battle against wolves. I wouldn't associate a mass grave with werewolves as opposed to like all of the actual corpse uh, loving units. Uh, an infiltrator on beast deck? I don't know. Hello. The werewolves got luscious locks in the 3D model. God damn. Every two turns and turn start, alternate between two abilities. Damage a random enemy by the number of allies. Heal all of your units. Whoa. Okay. That's gonna make damaging hard. Heal all of your units. Werewolf pack leader, cursed. Some say lycanthropy is contagious. Get bit by a werewolf, you turn into one yourself. Witchers know that's nonsense, of course. Only a powerful curse can bring on this condition. Heal all of your units. Every two turns, summon a wolf from your deck. Uh, that's gonna snowball hard. They damage a random enemy by two, and they repeat it every time another wolf shows up, and this guy's gonna keep summoning more wolves. It's probably for the best that I'm at least in a short, uh, long battle instead of a short one, because at least, at least they have to be discarded when the round ends. If nothing else. Oh, I should have discarded the crushing trap, because I don't have Willem. Doesn't do a lot for me right now. Hmm. Ah! Always go for Villum. I think I want to seize their wolf, though. Having a blacksmith might help. For the double seize trick. Alpha werewolf. String the self by one. So it's just gonna get stronger every turn. Oh, it has resilience. Well then, definitely that guy. Hmm. I can seize it later, though. 
I want to stop him from summoning. And then I can seize the Alpha Werewolf afterwards, and I'll just have the Strengthening Resiliency. Okay. Strengthen all allies in hand, deck, or battlefield by one on deploy. Vilfedin. That is a very, very large werewolf. Look at the person here for scale. Also, always there's the convenient... There's always, there's always a leg in the way, or the arm has to perfectly be blocking the crotch, just to not have to answer the question of what's, of what's there. <laughs> werewolf? Oh no, no. This is something far, far worse. Actually, not that bad. I mean, he did make everything... In, he, I mean, he, he, yeah, he did make his entire team one stronger, I guess. I think that's actually the guy that's over here, isn't he? He, he better resembles the 3D model than the, than the, car, the card that shows here instead. A lot of werewolf cards here. A lot of different takes on the character design. Also, just giant fucking werewolves. They're really big. This one seems scrawny by comparison, but it might be lack of scale. Yeah, this is this one's in a. This one's definitely like a Lupin from Harry Potter. Where are these ones are. Why are these ones so bulk, and the other ones not? I don't know. This one's like ten feet tall. Maybe, actually, no. That this. He looks like he might be 12, 15 feet tall. That's absurd. The werewolves in Witcher 3 at least were like human scale ish. Do I want to use you this round? I don't know how much I'm going to commit to this round besides just seizing his units. <gasps> what? It summons the wolves from his deck into my hand? What? <laughs> What? I got the wolf? I, I, th I didn't think it was going to work. I thought it was going to try to summon from my deck, which of course wouldn't work because I don't have any wolves. But it's they summoned the cards from his deck. That's... That has to be kind of broken, right? I don't think that... I think if you played this game as a tabletop game, either in a tournament or with a group of friends or whatever, like I don't think people would interpret the card to mean that. I think it'd be- I think they definitely interpret it like, you better have some wolves in your deck then. Oh, you don't? Well, I guess you just have that card now. I was trying to stop him from summoning, but I- I get his wolves. Damn. Alright. Let's get this going so I can steal his other- his resilience wolf. Have that too. I can't wait. Stealing his cards is the best I can do if he's gonna keep healing them anyway. That's my current strategy. Ooh, another one. It's tempting, but I want the uh I want the resilience one that'll stick around. There we go. And it's the muzzle card and they're werewolves, get it? <laughs> oh, the timing of that is funny. Uh I would like you to be dead though. Admittedly, if you do the Crushing Trap Willem trick, that's a, that's kind of more effective than bothering with the whole double muzzle trick. I'm surprised that, uh, Nickers hasn't had my wine yet. If he had, I think the enemy would have surrendered by now, because I would have been so much more powerful than, than them that they would have to surrender, basically. Mmm... -mm. I still have you here? Yeah. Let's make you one of them. I'm kind of planning for next round, I think, because I'm hoping that they'll pass. But I want to use this to summon new drummers next round. <sighs> what do I want to use? I want to push the surrender, I guess. So... Boosting you by 17 would be pretty good. You? Oh, right, a wolf, right. I wasn't thinking about the wolf. Would you like to pass now? I'm beating you by 50. Almost, almost 60 now. There we go. <laughs> it keeps, oh God, it keeps summoning the wolves and they keep attacking in a chain because that's what they do, right? Jeez. All right, so I get to keep that guy and you. Two dogs. 
Wolf pack. All right, I'm starting the round with 24 power. Jeez. Okay, not two of them for sure. Actually, maybe, uh, if I did draw Villem, that'd be pretty comical to crush trap both rows and then just play Villem and take their entire t army. Ooh, two Grey Riders is pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna get Villem. Well, I literally said that thinking, oh, it's gonna draw Villem as I click on this, just to spite me, because I dared doubt it. That always seems to be what happens. Let's see. Generally, I want to open with these guys, so they can buff everyone constantly. What? Play a random bronze unit from the enemy's deck. The wear cat? I guess that's a thing. Oh, it's hands. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. He hates it when you scratch his belly. <laughs> oh. He took my Scytheman. Oh, wow. He's gonna get strong pretty often, isn't he? That's actually, a, that seems like a decent draw. That's a little scary. Yes. Let's see. We probably want fire next. If I can get it. Fire's great. Not only do I get to burn their row, but I, he draws an extra card. If I use the drummer, at least. Speaking of which... Is it time for drummer yet? It should be you first, because you get to attack every turn. There we go. I've got the double buff engine going. Well, also, he gets stronger every turn just because. Okay. They're playing more of that card now. They're going to catch up at that rate. Army's wasted time for one. Attack by four. I mean, I guess I should attack you. I don't know. How, how often are you going to get stronger? I can outpace it, I guess. If I keep attacking. Oh, here come the wolf. Don't. Ah, oh, dogfight. They're so much bigger, it's a problem. Uh, I'm about to use the ability, so let's do you next. But also use you because I might draw another one. If I'm lucky. You mad? Don't shake that! Uh, Phil Villem's here now. Uh. I'm probably not cr drawing a crushing trap. I think I can't, right? Because you only draw units. I think it has to be something that draws cards. And nobody has seven power, so I won't be able to take any of them back with me. Hmm. Sometimes submission is a virtue. Villem does not work well when I am not specifically planning for him. Hmm. Yeah. I'm slightly torn. I want to buff this guy, but I also don't want Villem that badly. Oh well. Oh well. He's dead. Ooh. Obviously, when I have these two on the on the board, you couldn't even have the you couldn't even go in the right row. Wait, why? Move Prince Villem and all units to the same power to the opposite row. Isn't he was here? So the opposite row is here, isn't it? But he went here. That's not. I don't think that's supposed to be how that works. Hmm. No, nope, there's the plus one to everyone again. Left, right, Gotta left. keep that draw game going, especially if I'm gonna get Gascon next. I should have probably got Odo. Eh. I've got this guy coming up too. 
So we're down to five damage per attack. Probably go for the guy that actually attacks me. Wow. It's gonna keep happening, huh? There we are. Nothing personal, I assure you. Wow. 47. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to... Let's, let's, let's keep working on the attacker. He actually does something every turn, I guess. Uh, we should play you next. Fifty-five on Gascoigne. 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 Gas What's Gascoigne from? Uh, Bloodborne. So not counting these guys, there's seven units down here, five up here. So let's rebalance. I, I think that kind of helps. I don't know. I mean, there's six on each row now, but we're gonna run out of capacity soon, so they're gonna not quite be able to fully buff yet anymore. Hey, no. Uh-oh. Oh, right, it plays the card. They get the effect. The werecat, how, does the werecat mind control? Like, what, what is the property of a werecat in this universe if it can take my bomber and use it against me? That's interesting. A lot of werecats, by the way. Hmm. They have nine units now. I should burst through one of these guys' armor. There you go. And then, uh... To the death row with y'all. There we go. This he's getting stronger every turn. This doesn't actually do anything for me, does it? Oh well. Hopes and dreams. Th this happens, at least. Yeah, I guess it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt to take Villain back because I, I wasn't going to fill the board anyway. All right, last play. They have seven cards, so I can only fit two of them up there. Unless I, until I, unless I bring one of them back down, could just kill someone like that or that. Hmm. That's what I should do. Kill this guy. There we go. Now you all get to be in the top row. Hope I never mi hope I never forgot to use him, but I might have. I'm not used to having a cooldown that comes back every turn. He's the one card that does that in my entire game. At least the only one I use. Oh no. Dead puppy. <laughs> Just this just piles of gore. Pick it up. It's got it's full of gold somehow. No one knows why. These dogs just keep eating gold. Your Majesty, I advise you come no closer. This trench. It seems Nilfgaardian soldiers have repurposed it as a mass grave. I count nearly two dozen bodies. We shall prepare a proper burial. Is it that proper to just cover it in dirt? We didn't like make them have individual graves. We just pour dirt over the whole thing. Is that is that a proper burial? Is that is that what counts? I'm genuinely not sure. I just want to double check. I th don't remember. Did I was did I forget? No, there's no yeah, I was I was just thinking of the propaganda board. Thought there was a mission board for some reason. Not for some reason, I mistook the board as the being the other book as the other board. <laughs> Meave spied the outline of Malabon Castle on the horizon and turned dour. True, no golden suns waved atop its towers, yet that did not mean those within supported her. 
Malabon belonged to House Obert, long in conflict with Meave's own, and with Meave herself. Behind their ramparts, do you see them, Reynard? Asked Meave, shaking her head. Countless ballistae, collecting dust, while war rages all around. Perhaps the Oberts will lend us aid, Reynard replied. True, you've been at odds with them in the past, but perhaps now, faced with a common foe. <laughs> a common foe? Snorted the Queen. You mean Nilfgaard, to whom they opened their gates? Caldwell, whom they supported? They supported me, Mother, Willem said. And I know they share my disappointment with General Epdahi's actions. When they see I now stand by your side, they might forget old wrongs. The things I do for the good of my realm. Meave sighed. So be it. Reynard, send a runner to the castle. Tell the Oberts their queen seeks a word. Moments later, the castle's heavy iron gate creaked open. Meave rode into the cobblestone courtyard, where Margravine Greta, head of the house, greeted her. Although, greeted is perhaps not the right word, for Lady Greta granted her only a barely perceptible nod. What can I help you with, Meave? The war, my dear. The one being fought outside the walls of your castle. Greta smiled to herself, then intertwined her brittle, ring-covered fingers. I'm afraid that's impossible. It is a vassal's sacred duty to serve her liege, and... And my liege is King Willem. Greta calmly retorted. Hearing his name, Willem stepped forward. I wish to add my name to my mother's entreaty, said the prince. We tried to pact with the Empire. We trusted General Epdai's promises, and he broke them, one after the other. Margravine Greta dropped her gaze. The Oberts had lost lands, their serfs had been deported. Under Nilfgaard's rule, they had lost no less than the other great families. We can brook no further delay. We must strike, united with all our might. Only thus can we retain hope for a victory. Mine is long lost. The noblewoman replied in a whisper. I watched from my tower as their troops marched past. An endless sea of black plate. But you are right, your majesty. At some point, one must say enough. Even if that is one's last word. Willem grasped the Margravine's brittle hand and bowed. Thank you. On behalf of myself, my mother and all our land. Meave left Malabon Castle reinforced by the Oberts and reassured by Willem's actions. If earlier she had harbored doubts about forgiving her son his betrayal, now she was convinced she had done the right thing. Reinforced Ballista. Interesting. I, uh, I feel like the, the story themes are somewhat undersold by the gameplay on some level, and it's not really an easy problem to solve, but... This game, the narrative is framed as this hopeless death march where we're completely doomed against an unstoppable force. And yet, mechanically, it's a game where you have to win every single fight all the time. Like, like a badass. Like, you can't stop winning. Like, Nilfgaard poses no threat, evidently, because canonically you win every fight, because that's the only way the story continues. Uh, it'd, almost be, it'd be kind of interesting to do something like Pyre or Banner Saga. Both of which are games that uh, actually incorporate failure into their story and react to failure as you go. We march with you, Lyrian beside Rivian, together at the Blackclads. Prince Willem speaks true. No more bending. An end to concessions. War. War, what is it good for? Absolutely not. I wasn't sure which one he was going to do. That, that, that he was going to say war. War never changes. I'm like, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. But no, it's uh, that's apparently the source of that card quote. Because uh, war, war, what is it good for? Absolutely not. Which is a, a reference to a song slightly changed in lyrics. Uh, but it's been a description of one of the cards somewhere in this game. So we've seen it. We've seen it before. Reinforced Ballista.
I have five of them. So yeah, this this has to be an example of something that I got because I had I spared Prince Willem. I do wonder if it only happens if you agree to his his uh to his behavior or if uh if you agree to his terms or if you seize him because there's a uh, certain moments like when Meve puts his or her son down earlier like this is this is what they're like this is their their superior culture or whatnot and he, and he drops his head that interaction probably happens whether you agreed to his terms or arrested him but who knows if he's willing to do this or if it goes this way if you if you arrested him for example I don't know, maybe you can champ maybe you can champion him around and like show him off like a trophy and keep getting support because he, he you're pretending he's a, a member of your army, or maybe he's too strong willed for that. I don't know. Damage units by three, two, and one. Oh. So it does six damage, but you scatter the damage around, and it has a whoa. It has a cooldown of one. What crossbows want to be when they grow up. Okay. It attacks three times per turn for varying amounts of time, uh, amounts of damage, and it does it every single turn. That's a decent chunk of damage. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. I think I want to put those in my deck. Just thinking about how I want to reshuffle this a little bit. Do I still want to commit to something like the Infiltrator? Huh. I think I'm tired of Villem, honestly. Yeah. I'm think I'm, I think I'm just not crazy about Villem, generally speaking. I'm also... Hmm. Is this three worth it, ultimately? I wonder. I'm not moving units back and forth between rows quite as much as I used to. The fire is still good without moving units, but the pitfall really benefits from knocking them back and forth. I mean, I do still have five slingers. I don't know, we'll see how this deck goes. I think I'm kind of over Villem at the moment, though, as a card. If you if you specialize specifically around it, it's neat, but I'm not, I'm not focused on it heavily enough, so it's not actually coming out that way. Hmm. Let's bring back... where are they? Where are my archers? Oh, it's not an order, it's deploy. I, I meant to say loyalty. Oops. Oh, just loyal. Okay. I'm spamming loyalty enough that this is pretty alright. It's tempting. It's just not that strong of a card outside of its power alone. It is just too damaged, though. Every three turns. Is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know if it is. It does give them more things to attack, because they do like to attack. I don't know, I might play with it a little bit. Just to have more loyalty effects stacking with my... how much I emphasize loyalty right now. I don't know if I really want to spam these guys, though. 
Just because they have no additional effect. They do engine all right, as long as I just don't... They, they snowball decently, as long as I'm not uh, drawing them manually on accident. With my loyalty ability. Hmm. Being able to play each one every time I use my loyalty ability, then stacking it with Grey Rider. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not ready to commit to that one. I'm trying to edit my, my deck more in general, though, just to embrace the premise a little bit. Maybe I should just... A little scary, but maybe I should just try to banish all of the drummers from my deck. That might be, that might be a little more... That might be a little self-damaging, unnecessarily. Mm -hmm.